Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Yes, after the international break is just literally on its last legs now, the Premier League back, is back this weekend. Um, anyway, there's a lot to talk about, I want to get straight out to this video, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game is Watford versus Liverpool. Now, I'm going to come a bit off topic. You know, I've been watching Ben Foster's YouTube channel. Uh, quite a good YouTube channel as well. Uh, well done to Ben uh, for getting the content that he does get up. I just want to say that. Going forward to the game now, Watford missed a couple of bit of a tough one, I think. I think Liverpool going want to come bang on form again. You know, they ain't going to want to hang around. It's going to be a very you know, hard game for Watford to basically walk out of anything, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm going to go, I'll go give them a go, I think, and I'm going to go with a 3 1 Liverpool scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Wolverhampton. Aston Villa still slightly struggling under Jack Greenish, uh, without Jack Greenish, sorry. Um, it's going to be one of these things, I think, where it could actually might be a, a bit of a reversal. Right, is it a bit of a, no, it's not a bit of a derby, is it? I'm not sure whether they're, are they in that, actually it might be in that close proximity, I know there's like three grounds really close to each other. Wolves on the other hand, well Jimenez was back just before the international break, it's nice to see him back. You know, this game is going to be a very interesting one, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Aston Villa win, I think. I think that's the first one I've actually backed. Villa to win all season. The next one is Leicester versus Manchester United. Man United, obviously they're without, um, I can't remember the, can't remember the defender's name, um, you know who I'm on about anyway. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're without one of their uh, defenders due to Ferran, that's what I was trying to think of. Um, you know, he's picked up an injury on international duty in the Nations League final, I believe it was. And May United have basically said, yeah, he's out for a few weeks, you know, so it's very hard on United. Going up against a very OK Leicester side, in my opinion. It's going to be interesting to see the likes of, you know, maybe will Leicester go and take a Fran absent and make it to their advantage. The likes of James Vardy as well, obviously not play for England, that'd be a big break for him. It's going to be a very interesting uh, game at the King Power Stadium, so I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Burnley. Manchester City should actually win this one quite comfortably, and you know, I ain't got beat around the bush with you know, what they should be doing, what they should be doing, but no disrespect to Burnley, Man City should win this one quite comfortably. But I am expecting Burnley to play every player back behind the ball, so it will be quite a hard game, as we've seen with the likes of England, when every when the opponent play every man behind the ball. I'm going to go possibly for... Yeah, I am. I'm going to go for a comfortable Manchester City win. And I'm going to go for a 4 nil Manchester City win. The next one is Norwich versus Brighton. Now Norwich picked up its first point. I think it's the last, literally the last week before the international break. This game could really be interesting with the likes of Norwich. Um, but on the other side of that, obviously you know, I'm from Brighton and I'm a Brighton fan. Brighton should win this one quite comfortably. And I know I say that quite a lot, and obviously if you're a subscriber of mine, and quite a regular viewer, you do know I sometimes call it on the opposite end of what a lot of people are thinking. I think because of where Norwich are, I think Brighton will actually think this game is quite comfortably. I'm hoping Brighton win it, obviously, um, but I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. And I'm going to go with a, maybe a Bazuma goal if he's back. I'm not quite sure if he's fit. And Pookie for Norwich. 
Um, the next one is Southampton versus Leagues. Now, Leagues are really underperforming this season, in my opinion. I do think the likes of, you know, with the likes of Second Season Syndrome, people call it, really are struggling. But so are Southampton on that end. So, uh, Leagues have got a really big trip down to St Mary's across this weekend. It's going to be a very interesting game between the two clubs. Yet again, I'll go for a draw and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one as well. My next one is Brentford versus Chelsea. Brentford are doing so well in the Premier League this season. First ever time in the Premier League and really settling in pretty quickly. Now, do I really... With Chelsea obviously being in the title fight, it's going to be a really interesting game for both of these clubs. Now, do I go against the odds with this one? Same as Brentford beating Arsenal. Brentford beat someone else or drew against someone else that I should, really shouldn't have done. But it's going to be a very interesting game between both of these clubs. Um, London Derby as well. I'm just probably going to stick up for a Chelsea win just about and I'll go for it a 2-1 Chelsea win. But Brentford are playing well this season. The next one is Everton versus West Ham. Yet yeah, again, Everton getting under, uh, getting there under Rafael Benitez. Seems to be winning the crowd around slowly up at Everton, obviously being the ex-Liverpool boss. West Ham, David Moyes, probably one of the most brilliant signing. You know, David Moyes obviously did take his time, you know, after Billage being sacked. And he's basically paying off what he should be doing, winning games, European football. Um... But this game will be interesting. It's Sunday. So I'm going to go for another draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Spurs. Now I can't go on with uh, mentioning Newcastle without their new owners. Three, I think it's $320 billion the new owners are worth. Or one of the new owners. But. They still got to struggle all the way to July. Uh, sorry not July. January. Um, before they could buy any players. It's going to be interesting to see the new owners bring in. You know first rounds of asking. Don't forget Newcastle fans. It took Manchester City three to four years. To start turning their club around. So you've still got a bit of a long wait. Uh, ahead of you. It's going to be interesting though for Newcastle over the next 10 or so years to see where they are and see if this big investment does improve the club. Right, so that's enough about that. I'm going to go to the game. As I said, Newcastle struggle, well, are struggling at this present time. I think they won a game yet if I heard that correctly the other day and if I remember correctly as well. It's going to really be an interesting game. Will Steve Bruce still be in charge? Obviously, a lot of the press is saying he's to be sat before this game comes up. I'm expected to him to, to maybe be in charge. Maybe after Tottenham, maybe the Niners may have a think about it. But going up against a really, um, you know, not an informed Tottenham side. Tottenham are another team that's struggling this season. But because of the new owners and because of the you know, expectation, and because this game is as fat to set out now up at St James's Park, far as I know, I'm going to go for a Newcastle win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Newcastle win. My last one for this weekend is Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. Now, Arsenal and Crystal Palace, obviously both London clubs, both at the different ends of the table, you know, I think Arsenal in the top 10, um, I know Palace are a bit lower than that. But anyway, at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal are finding a bit of form. So, you know, it's Crystal Palace. Um, you know, I can't remember who they played the last week before the international break. It was not bright and that was the week before. But anyway, I'm expecting Arsenal to win this one quite comfortably. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 U uh, Arsenal win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give it a like. Big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more.
Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.